Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky was defiant on Tuesday, vowing a tough response on Russian forces if they attack on or around his country's Independence Day. As Ukraine is also set to mark six months since Russia's invasion, there is concern among Ukrainian and allied officials that Russia would target civilian and government infrastructure in the next few days. The U.S. Embassy has urged its citizens to leave Ukraine immediately. Zelensky also vowed Ukraine would restore its rule over the Crimea region annexed by Russia in 2014. We will get Crimea back by any means we deem right without consulting other countries. As for direct attacks, Ukraine doesn't attack any civilians, neither in foreign countries nor on temporarily occupied Ukrainian territory. We know what we are doing. We know where the military objects and depots are. Ukrainian soldiers are able to work according to plan there. Zelensky's comments came as leaders of dozens of countries and international organizations were taking part in the so-called Crimea platform, most of them by video, in solidarity with Ukraine. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was among them. We must continue to insist that Crimea is Ukraine, just as Donetsk and Luhansk are Ukraine, just as every other part of the country is Ukraine. That was our position in 2014. It's our position in 2022. Fears of intensified Russian attacks followed the killing of Daria Dugina, the daughter of a prominent Russian ultranationalist. She was killed in a car bombing near Moscow on Saturday, which Moscow has blamed on Ukrainian agents. But Kiev denies this. Authorities have told Ukrainians to work from home where possible from Tuesday to Thursday. Zelensky had warned over the weekend that Moscow might try something, quote, particularly ugly in the run-up to Wednesday's Independence Day, which will mark its independence from Soviet rule since 1991. Kiev has banned large public gatherings until Thursday, fearing crowds could become targets.